Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learnhyperdimension.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about how you can debug your Playwright test using playwright.pos method. So basically debugging is a step-by-step -step process where you will debug what went wrong with your code. Now imagine you have a lengthy script. It is working fine. Now suddenly st it stopped working. Now you want to see why the script is getting failed, what exactly went wrong. So now you can do the debugging. So generally when we work with traditional tools, let's like say if you're working with Selenium, what we do, we add a breakpoint and then we continue, right? Now Playwright provides inbuilt mechanism for debugging, which is exactly what, what I'm going to show you. Trust me, it's one of the best debugger and you will see a demo and how it can highlight. It will tell you what is happening behind the scene. Plus if you want to make any modification, if you want to record a lot of things, which I'm going to show you, this is inbuilt in Playwright by just using one single method called pause. Now to demonstrate this, what I will do, I will take any existing script. Okay. So this is what we discussed already. So de to demonstrate this example, I can take any existing script. So I'm going to take this one, which is just a new user. So before I show you the debugging, let me quickly execute so that you will understand what exactly the script is doing. So right now I'm using Chromium. So it's going to start. It's going to create a new user. You can see it's going to fill some random data. So we have used fake library, which is basically creating a fake data. It's creating a new user and it created successfully. Now I want to debug this. Now, right now the script is working fine, but what if the script is not working and I want to debug it. So I will show you both the approaches. First, let's see if everything is going fine, how you can debug it in case something is not working, how you can debug. Okay. So this is my script. Now, if I want to pause my script at a particular point, for example, the moment I click on new user, I want to pause my script and I want to see how it is behaving. So I'm going to use page dot pause. That's all. So pause is a predefined method which comes with playwright. And if you put mouse over, mostly you will use for debugging. So it will pause the script execution. Playwright will stop executing a script and wait for the user to either press resume button or you can call this playwright.resume. I will show you both. Don't worry. User can interact selectors or perform manual steps while pause. Resume will continue running the original script from the place it was paused. Suppose you paused your script. Now you did a lot of activities. Now you want to resume. The moment you resume, it will continue from there itself. So I added already one pause. Now this time if I execute, wait and see what exactly it brings. It started. It clicked on that button. Sorry, it was a link. Now you can see it also brings this playwright inspector. Now the script will be in a pause state until I don't click on this step over or resume. So to show you in a better way, let me keep in this fashion so that you can see both. It's actually completely black. I can understand because this is Eclipse and this is Inspector. Now I will click on this, which is basically step over or you can use F10. Notice what happened. It is actually highlighting this. Can you see this locator submit button? And here we are doing just one assertion that it should be disabled. If I go back, it's checking this particular part. Assert that submit button is disabled. So it identified this and it's working fine. Now let me move to the next step. This is one of the interesting part. Next step is enter name. It says, okay, we identified one locator and this is the element which is highlighted and see here it is doing some actionability criteria. What it means it is first of all waiting for locators. Now this locator resolve to a single web element. It's going to type this particular username and now it is attempting fill action until I don't press resume it will not type now see what happened since I'm recording a video within 30 seconds if I don't perform it's a timeout exceeded we discussed already right that if you don't give the timeout by default playwright will wait 30 seconds and this is exactly what happened while explaining 30 seconds got over so what I will do I will execute again so let me stop this and let me execute once again. 
this time i have to go little fast because 30 seconds will get over very fast so this is our page this is our inspector now i will press over sorry step over see it's highlighted same thing it will do for next one which is uh, email then password and good point is notice this part now i'm looking for this particular click right which is selenium so it has identified waiting located attempting click waiting for element to be visible enabled and stable these are the internal checks it is doing it has also scrolling if possible right now scrolling not needed and you can you see this a uh, highlighter it is highlighting now it is going to click on this one then it will click on state it is selecting goa selecting uh, again copies now it's going to click on sign up button and it highlighted see basically what happened it actually waited for the conditions by default playwright will do some actionability checks so once these actionability checks are done it will move to that element do the operation and come back so this was the happy scenario where my script was running fine and i purposefully used pause it paused and now executed now let me do a different thing what i will do i will purposefully change the locator from password to password one now assume this is this got updated automatically because of the ui control or the developer have made some changes to the application now my script is failing now i want to pause here so before this you can put a pause so you can see page dot pause again it does not return anything because the return type is void it will not accept anything it will just pause your script execute once again see it entered first name and then email address now it is stopped now the moment i click on this resume sorry step over see now it's waiting for this particular element obviously since i have modified it will keep on waiting default time 30 second within 30 second if it is not able to identify it will fail for sure so that's how you will uh, identify that what went wrong with the script this is for i will say setting the values you can also do this for click as well for click it has multiple actionability check which also i will show you but it failed after 30000 millisecond which is 30 second fine so let me close this and let me show you same thing for click as well so i will keep it back and this time i will change get by text mukesh let's say click on mukesh let's do one thing i will keep this intact and this button okay this button i will keep in uh, disabled so i will not select the hobby and i will try to click on it so basically this page how it works until i will not feel fill all the fields it will be in a disabled state so now I'm trying to click on a button which is disabled and let's see how playwright operates again run sorry let me add a breakpoint so here when I say breakpoint I want to pause in simple words yes we removed from that place and now execute now I will show you more features uh, after this example so this is going to fill all this it's selected state as well now after selecting the state now I will click on next one this is interesting thing see so I will tell you what is happening here but let it complete first it is attempting multiple times and it will attempt 60 times and how this number 60 is coming because of the polling yes perfect now what actionability criteria says in order to click 
it has to be present visible enable stable and it should be in a view in our case it is present it is visible it is stable it is in a view but it is not enabled so what is happening playwright is checking one condition so if you scroll and see on top come back here yes so it is waiting for locator it identified now it is trying to click attempt a click action waiting for element to be visible enable and stable so visible done stable done but it is not enabled so element is not enabled it tried again it tried it could not find so it will keep on retrying see so notice waiting for 500 millisecond it means the by default polling is 500 millisecond like within one second it will poll twice so totally 30 second is the waiting time right so it attempted 60 times so that's how this debugger works it will tell you what exactly is happening with your script so i hope you got the clarity now i want to show you some very interesting feature about this debugger so let me close the previous sessions and let me add once again page dot pass here execute once again started now good thing about this is you can also inspect for example you can see this option right pick locator i want to maybe click on let's say this sign up so it will give you the locator as well that you can use page dot get by role it's a heading and the name is sign up again if i pick let's say i want to click on jenkins it says you can use get by text so you can quickly use this if you want to pick certain locators apart from this let's say i want to record so i will show you the recording separately but for now since the record button is enabled let's say if i record now the recording is started so let's say i want to go back to this logo let me maximize this i want to click on this menu icon i uh, icon login i want to enter some fields let's say mukesh at the rate gmail.com then password some random password and i want to click on this sign up obviously this does not exist so i want to capture this message as well so what i did i started recording and i am doing some operations now the moment you come back here you can see it has generated the script for you now if i stop recording these are the steps which i can directly use it an interesting part you can convert into different languages for example i want to uh, do the same thing with node.js okay so it has given me that this is how you can use maybe i want to go with maybe ms test right now we're using java so i will go back and say library now you can simply copy this and you can paste as it is and it will continue right now i'm i don't want to record i will show you the recorder separately but this is one of the feature it provides uh other part is this theme part if you don't uh, want an uh, dark theme you can go with the light theme and if you want to clear it you can clear it so it's totally up to you you can also resume for example let's say you don't want to resume directly from here you can also resume directly from dev tools what it means let me run this again let me clear the previous one run as your application it started okay and we got this inspector I personally like the black theme so I will go with black theme now the second thing it says if you don't want to use this you want to resume directly from here so you can go to inspect you can see this console right so you type playwright dot resume now the moment I hit enter you will notice it will resume our execution let me hit enter see it is doing this and it created a new user so it's up to you whether you want to resume from here or inspector I personally prefer using playwright because unnecessary I have to start dev tools again I have to write playwright.resume use this button directly so this is debugging 
with the help of playwright now suppose you are someone who like to debug using you know traditional way that will remain same you can put a breakpoint and you can debug for example i will put a breakpoint at line number 18 so i will either right click say toggle breakpoint or i will just double click on it so now if i execute debug as java application remember my choice now i can continue the moment i say page dot navigate so this is my window now i can continue navigate then i will click on this so it will click on the next page and so on so this is traditional debugging so it's totally up to you how do you want to debug it so i hope you enjoyed this playwright debugging very important and try to use it because it does internal checks multiple times right with different conditions so try this and let me know i hope this video is helpful if you found some value in this video please do share with your colleagues who are learning playwright for java and support this channel subscribe this channel and if you have any other question let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care